Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming tonight. I'm very pleased to see such a full room of amazing people. Uh, my name is Valerio Bassan. I'm a journalist and editor from Italy, and I'm also the founder of Techtivist, which is a media platform and educational program for digital activism. Let's take a step, a step back to six months ago when we were starting this program at the town night at CUNY. Uh, that very week, something that I'm sure you remember happened. A new administration got inaugurated. Just a few days later, the same administration issued a travel ban preventing citizens from seven Muslim-majority countries from entering to enter the UN, United States of America, which led to protests in airport all over the country. And then something else happened. People from the tech industry all over the United States, but starting from Silicon Valley, started coding a new kind of digital resistance. We have seen apps helping refugees stuck in airports to get legal advice uh, while we are trying to cross a US border. We have seen bots and other kind of apps uh, empowering citizens to take action against the administration or trying to flip seats in the Congress for the next election term. And we've also seen uh, a new kind, an unprecedented kind, I will say, of tech resistance uh, with grassroots movements blossoming in the Silicon Valley. So here's what I think. I think that we live in a golden age for digital activism. There have been more than 100 new apps and tools launched into the market since Trump's election that engage more than 2 million users all around the country. And this is all part of a huge market, uh, the charity market, which in 2016 alone gathered more than $370 billion in donations. So all these things considered, and my passion, uh, I launched a platform for digital activism called Techtivist. We, on, on Techtivist, I'm curating stories, uh, producing stories, aggregating sources, aggregating resources for activists, and also providing educational training for activists, small and big groups, all over the United States. Uh, I'm not new to, to technology. Te technology is actually my passion. Uh, I've been a media tech reporter for the last seven years. I was the founding editor of Vice News in Italy. I work for Wired and other kind of uh, international publications, writing about tech. Uh, and I was also the founder of a digital media startup for the Italian community in Germany, which proved successful and I sold uh, after three years in 2015. Uh, so what is Tactivist? Tactivist is essentially three things. Uh, it is media, a weekly newsletter where I uh, aggregate, curate, and produce inspiring stories on digital activism. Uh, it's a living library where I aggregate a lot of resources that people can use. These resources are already, some of them we, we saw before, but there are a lot of many, uh, very interesting. Uh, digital tools and apps that are already uh, available on app stores but are very kind of hard to find. Uh, and also the next step, online courses, which uh, as I mentioned before, will train activists. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. Uh, let's uh, take a closer look to the newsletter right now. It was launched in February. Uh, it has been uh, a great satisfaction to me to see so many people subscribe. Uh, I have a few under, uh, hundred subscribers. Some of them are, are uh, influential, as uh, we might say from companies like Google, Apple, and Facebook, and from media companies like the New York Times, Quartz, The Outline, uh, The Washington Post, et cetera. Uh, the open rate is, uh, is uh, satisfying as well, 40%, uh, which is double the, the media industry, as you might know. Uh, and what you find in the newsletter, you can have a glimpse uh, by looking at here, uh, but if you subscribe, it's even, it looks better, I swear. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what's next? Uh, over the summer, I will be tr try to put together a team of freelancers uh, that will help me in the quest of a uh, training organization. So these digital tools are very, very useful, uh, but there are also basic uh, digital skills that uh, NGOs and nonprofits can, can use to uh, improve their impact and uh, in a way leverage what they're doing uh, on a day-by-day -day basis. Uh, so. My business model will be ma mainly based on uh, online classes that I will sell as a bundle uh, or as single classes that would be also customized um, in-person training for big, big organizations, uh, PDF guides that I will sell through Amazon and through an online store that I'm building on the website, and also some advertising for the newsletter. If you're interested, please uh, reach out after the presentation. Um, I believe that uh, technology is not inherently uh, good or bad. as most people might say right now, uh, there's a lot of discussion about this topic. I believe it's the use that we make of it. Uh, so that's why I really think that if we use technology in the right way for the causes and the ideas that we care about, we can have a great impact and do something that 
uh, makes us and our society uh, more equal, democratic, and free, and open also. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>